There once was a Canadian man. Hey. <laughs> who lives in Kegi and Dior. So beautiful. Sun's just setting. The rain's. Talingsik. Talingsik! <laughs> Talingsik! <laughs> Woo! It's coming down and not hard, it's just drizzling. Brother, why are you so emo? It's a rainy evening in Kagi and Dioro. Brother's emo. It's okay to be emo sometimes. Did you ever let go? Did you ever not know? You were never out there alone Do you think there's a chance For this love to be real I will let you take the wheel From now Mikey Biggie, this is the first time ever in 72 days that I'm gonna go out and see what Peggy and Dior looks like at night. It is almost seven o'clock in the evening and why I'm stopping right now is because I want to show you guys who don't think it's true. These are balls. And in fact, they're blue balls. <laughs> Eric informed me they're definitely balls and they're meant for safety on the bike so i'm wearing a bright shirt i got my blue balls and we're gonna go for a night ride we're gonna do a little city tour in kegi and dioro curfew is 9 p.m i'll be back well before let's go All right, I've left the house. Uh, it is really eerie because it's so busy in Kagan during the day. But now, you know, 7 p.m. It's pretty dead. Uh, we're going towards Kogan first. Oh, you know I gotta get peanuts. I love Manny. Brad, Felico. Maybe pretty bainte with uh, Ubana Hush and bainte with the other ones. I don't know the name of these two types of mani. So in the Philippines, one of my favorite actual snacks on the street is definitely just peanuts. They're so delicious here. Uh, they usually fry them in oil. Ah, bainte, bainte. Salamat kuya. Ah, it's cool to see this guy roaming around now, 7 p.m. So support local. And I freaking love these. It's an Chicken skin. Ah, that's chicken skin. Thank you, Kia. Slava. How you doing? Good. <laughs> wow, Kogan Market's pretty chill. Uh, I didn't eat dinner purposely. Actually, I don't even have much food at the house. Uh, so I could go around and buy whatever I could find because I was intrigued. I don't know what's open or what's happening in Kagian because I've never gone out at night. So here we go. So far, peanuts. So 
as you can see, uh, it's pretty relaxed here at night. Uh, the RTA guys are still working on the corner though, that's good to see. Good! What's up? Funny, funny! Bow wow, bow wow! What's up guys? Hey, yes, come on. Okay, long, okay, long. Right, so. Unter us mug humana. Like, can you say, Unter us humana tomorrow? Like, 8 p.m. on a torcho? So they hang out here till 8. Unter us so good. It's 12 noon, Utto. Utto till 8 at night. Cool, guys. Slava, huh? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I like your mask, Look at the mask. Hold on, one eye. Hold up, it's the guy from before. One eye. One eye. Uh, I just like to throw good vibes out of the RTA. Uh, man, that is one of the hardest jobs in the Philippines, being an RTA officer, because it's like a lose-lose. Basically, if there's really bad traffic, people say you're not doing your job well. And then when you do try and do your job well and like catch people doing bad things, everybody gets angry at you and rages. It's like, it's not fair. Still playing love ballads really loud and still glowing bright. There's maybe two people going for some walks here, exercising. Gaston Park is usually really lively at night. Uh, there's usually stalls around that sell snacks, but obviously now, nothing. But uh, they're still glowing, spreading good vibes. Well, 7.30, did a little bit of exercise there, just biking around here in loops. Let's go and check out the, now I don't know how to pronounce it, it's either Y Selina Bridge or Selina Bridge, it's W-S-A-L-I-N-A, -I, -A. I hope I uh, got that right. Uh, but it's straight ahead and it actually glows. They brightened this up a few months ago in Kagi and Dioro and I've never shown you it. I've seen it on the drone. I'm going to experience the cheerful happiness biking across it now to Carmen. If you didn't know, on the corner of Gaston Park and by the bridge is a city hall. I just realized this is the first time I'm going to cross the river. I haven't crossed the river in more than two months. So beautiful, the bridge, I love it. And after two months, finally I've crossed, I'm in Carmen. Picasso Suba, across the Suba, or at Bung. Well, where I'm standing right now, this is actually Borja Street. And remember I said the other day that Kegi and Dior is really a booming place. This bridge that I'm standing on here, it actually never existed years back. Uh, this is a new bridge. It's in between the colorful one and the Marcus Bridge, the far main one by the highway. It's over there. 
But uh, yeah, booming place. I'm gonna head back across now to Divisoria. I gotta find some food. So it's about 7.50 in the evening. Man, Cake Indoor is beautiful at night. Even when this pandemic wasn't happening, you know, it's still a nice place to roam around in the evening. There's, uh, the vibes are always good. Okay, you come to Kegi and Dioro and you want to try local Filipino street food, something you can do is go here. This is Pabayo Street and usually when you go farther down past across the divide in Divisoria, you see a lot of people snacking out. This might be my only hope. Come on. Pandemic quick quick mission slash exercise. people though and try and keep it safe but I think that's fine anyways I mean it's not a lot of people but I think there's like this social street food place to see if it's open well I stuck out there and quick quick I saw a few at that stand but they looked to be a kind of you know end of the day I don't know having a stomach thing a couple weeks back it's better to have really clean social quick quick we didn't know so shallow is like fancy. Um, so I decided to pass tonight. I've eaten lots there though, it's really good. Uh, Pabayo Street is legit, but it's legit local too. Um, well, there you have it. Uh, Kegi and Dior is dead at night. Um, that's a great thing. Uh, I actually kind of hesitated at first just showing you me biking around because I'm sure it's something I'll do a bit more of. Uh, just because, you know, I used to work in outdoor education and health and recreation uh, around the world. And I remember, especially in Hong Kong, a lot of the kids I worked with, uh, they came from very well-off families and found themselves always living in super clean, like perfect aircon, no germ environments. Um, they never really went outside or into the outdoors or even just, you know, in a regular street like this. Uh, and what I found is when we worked with these kids, uh, within 12 hours of having them outside, they develop big ratchet, rashes, they get a lot of symptoms of, you know, little illnesses. And, and I found that their immune systems and their bodies were just so you know, de-germified and so used to a perfect environment that it actually was having a negative effect on them. Um, you know, they just, they had no immune system. So for me, I mean, absolutely. I stayed at home all day. I've been staying at home the majority of the time uh, since the pandemic, as we all should be. But, you know, the rules say we're allowed to go out for a walk or a jog or a bike. And I think it's important that, you know, we also do that. We get outside a bit. Uh, obviously safely with the mask and ha having, uh, you know, our alcohol with us and, you know, staying socially distant, but I just wanted to, uh, yeah, let you know that this is what I would be doing probably sometimes in the evening anyways, even if I didn't show you this, but I just wanted to, uh, yeah, I've met so many young kids and people who, you know, grow up and don't give themselves or their immune system a chance to develop immunity to other things you know all the other diseases and bad things in the world besides covid so and then what happens is they go outside and they get those you know flu or the cold or the reaction or the allergy and so yeah i think you know coming out here it's important and that's why i do it but again responsibly um not all the time limited movements you know it's uh I feel like a bad influence showing you this now, but that's just, you know, 
how I feel. And if there was a great time, now we know when in Kaigin Dioro, if you want to go for that bike ride or that walk or that jog, go in the evening because it's dead. There's nobody around you. Uh, you know, it's a great time. <laughs> All right. Didn't get any quick quick. Didn't really get any food. I got some peanuts early on. I'm gonna head back home. Again, I felt awkward even sharing this with you now because I don't wanna, you know, tell people, go outside, yeah. But, you know, we still need to have an immune system to other things, so we can't just always, you know, stay in perfect environments the rest of our lives, so. Yeah, just following the rules and coming out. Kegian's dead at night, that's great. So I didn't get quick quick or any food really, just the peanuts. But what would you do, Brett, if you came back and it was the evening and you were editing with your friend here at the table, Kegi and Dioro? You'd go downstairs and get a magic local ice cream roll and promote it and try it and look at it for the first time. You can eat it now? Yeah, I want to try it. Go for it. Okay. I thought you were going to ask me what I would be doing at night. You know, because you can't Eating back, ice cream you know? roll. Oh. Into the spooky area. Where's the white lady? Tabby tabby po. Tabby up po. I put it in here. Oh. You, you are not getting any ice cream roll. Don't even try. Sweet. Yeah, dude, you gotta stay away from this butter. I'm sorry. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Look at this, she just follows you. Hey, no begging, no, no begging. No, hey, hey, no, 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 no begging, no begging, sit. Oh. oh my gosh, there's two flavors, man. Yes, oh, I think one is mango flow flavor. And one's Oreo. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. This is like a giant ice creamy Silvana mango flow roll. Here's their brand. Me out of the dark. Oh Always wonder if my gosh, without a mark. Did you ever let go? Did you ever not do? Dude, you were never out there. Dude, look. Wait, it's an ice cream roll. It's good. Good night. Bye bye. Buy these locally. I think they have a Facebook page. Wow, that's so good. Sorry, these vlogs are kind of. Sorry if these vlogs are kind of boring and weird sometimes, guys. I hope you're just learning something. <laughs> My hands are really clean and now really cold. Good night. Did you ever not know? You were never.